Can I tell you, Chad, even I am not immune to the call of the void. I almost ruined my weekend on social media two times this weekend, okay? I'm proud of myself that I didn't. What were the two times? First, a man went viral wearing Apple Vision Pro while holding his infant daughter while she was napping on his chest. And he said, I'm testing out my Apple Vision Pro watching Avatar while my child sleeps on my chest. Someone quote tweeted it and got 50,000 likes that said, if I had a daughter, I would simply cherish her. I, was, I had the tweet drafted up. I was going to quote tweet the quote tweet with the picture of the dude who says, uh, I reject the premise of the question, i.e. you can cherish your daughter and also watch Avatar at the same time while she's sleeping. I almost hit post. And then I thought to myself, why? Why would I do this? There's no point. I get in a couple of licks and then I get, you know, 10,000 people in my mentions thinking that I respect the Apple Vision Pro, even though I went off on it for me not getting it for like 90 minutes. <laughs> There's no context. That's not what social media is built for. It would have been a little dopamine rush. There's no reason for it. The other one, out of nowhere, I was just going to post... My, my boomer parenting take is that my child doesn't need to bring a water bottle to absolutely every activity she goes, she goes to. But I, I was so not ready for 50,000 people without kids to be like, you know, the Norman Rockwell free speech picture. I think human beings need water to live. Minus two, she should hydrate. Listen, A, I said it was my, my boomer parenting take. She hydrates well at home. We'll go out for lunch. She'll drink, uh, you know, a glass of water, a glass of orange juice. She's going to potty all the time. She can go to class for an hour or 90 minutes without having a water bottle. It's just one more thing to forget. Now, back in the day, I apologize for pulling the back in the day card. Back in the day, they used to send us to school for seven hours. We would have one 200 milliliter juice box in our lunchbox. And maybe after gym class, you get like five seconds of the water fountain before somebody gives you a, a five star. And we weren't even, we didn't even know what dehydration was. We probably should have been drinking more water. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think with God as my witness in 10 years of elementary school, middle school, I don't think I ever heard one of my friends say, I'm really thirsty. I'm not suggesting that thirst is a modern concept. I'm just suggesting that my kid does not need to bring the water bottle to every 45 minute long activity. We can, just get, we can just keep some water in the car. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Fix the car. Fix the car, Oppie. Me with the Vision Pro. All I wanted to say, like I'm, I'm very much not a Vision Pro guy, as you heard me say on Friday, but the people roasting the dude for having the Vision Pro on while his infant daughter slept on his chest. You guys are like way off base, okay? Like, this kid is gonna live for like 90 years. What is the dude supposed to do? Like, have a staring contest with her every time she sleeps? Like, that's insane. I know like if you don't have kids, you're like, I, every second with them would be a gift. That's true. He's probably been with her for like, you know, 18 hours that day and now she's taking a nap and his has, has to sit there and like genuflect at the idol of his own progeny. Like he could literally, his dude is burnt out. Just let him watch Avatar The Way of Water, man. It might be like the only two hours of free time he gets all weekend. How about the dude wearing it while he was driving? That dude should be in prison forever, for sure. But it seems like in all likelihood, like, nature will probably handle that one pretty quick anyway. No, no, dude. He's at, his driving was actually enhanced by the Vision Pro. <laughs> I would like to scan this plasma generator, please. Recommended tool, uh, impact like hammer. Ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Well, you guys haven't seen Nomad Land 2? Did you see the, the tweet that was like, um, not every movie is a good fit for YouTube movie critics. And it was all the like movie YouTuber thumbnails for the zone of interest. 
is like the dude's cartoon avatar, like the darkest movie I've ever seen. And then there was the one with uh, someone quote tweeted and replied that was like past lives, the most cucked movie A24 has ever made. <laughs> It's so... I kind of love the internet, man. It's so good. And then someone replied to that, and it was like a blurry, fake screenshot of Ant-Man and uh, uh, Greta Lee from Past Lives, and it says, Past Lives, you, I need you to distract Thanos. Just relax, okay? I'm building a bit, Tobias. I saw the tweet, it was poor things. There is two. Go, go look at the replies to the poor things post. There was poor things, I need you to distract Kang. And then in the replies, there was past lives. I think it was in Spanish though. It was like past lives, I need you to distract Kang. And now we'll never know the days before UMG took 20% of music off of TikTok. Excuse me, I got my TikTok account in January of 2020. I'm pretty sure that made me like the fifth Canadian on the website. There were like four trad moms and me posting Fall Guys clips. <laughs> and then one trad mom posting Fall Guys clips. Do you see that mom on, uh, I think she's on either TikTok or Instagram. And her thing is like, her kid will like, his kid, her kid is like two or something like that. She'll ask for cereal. Or he'll ask for cereal, and she'll, like, hand make her own cereal. Lady, can you just chill out? No disrespect. Like, I, I'm, I'm not saying it's, you're not within your rights to do it. But, like, you know you can get a box of Cheerios for, like, $3.99. It's not hard, though. It's pretty hard. She was, like, taking... She was, like, baking oats and then cutting them into circles and then like putting honey on top of them and then baking them again and then like it, w it was a ton of work bro it, it comes out of the factory as like a perfect circle i'm just saying the kid is probably going catabolic at that point right i just saw a video of that mom she made her own custom fruit loops it's crazy bro more power to you ain't nobody got time for that i'm not making my own like baby bell cheeses okay by the way, did you see the tweet that was like, everybody knows one guy who started weightlifting when he was 29 and says, uh, vegetarianism sounds good, but as an athlete, I just don't think it would work for me. I'd get too tired working my job as a programmer. That tweet, I was like, he's got like 30% of my audience fucking down pat, man. I know like at least 4,000 of those motherfuckers. Where I'm like, I think cardio is good. And people are like, you don't need to do more than eight minutes of cardio a day. It makes your gains go catabolic. And I'm like, I know you started doing 531 at age 32, brother. Can we stop LARPing here? As a vegetarian, that shit is so annoying. I will say, though, I support vegetarianism. I think I could pursue it myself uh, and, and did for like, I don't know, six months, 10 years ago. But when we went out for dinner at a friend's place, they cooked like a vegetarian couscous with some cauliflower in it. It was delicious. I loved it. Two hours later, I was like, I got to eat something before bed or I'm going to wake up and be fucking starved. I'm going to wake up with like a tummy ache. There was, I mean, there were some beans. There were chickpeas in it too. It was like couscous, chickpeas, cauliflower, cilantro, some kind of, I think they poured like some vegetable stock over it and then mixed it all together and then like some chopped, it was really good. But I'm like, I'm, I'm also not used to that. Like they don't know that I'm a fucking freak. Like I look like a normal guy, but every time I sit down for dinner, I want to eat like 1400 calories. They thought I was just a, they didn't know what kind of game I was bringing to the app, to the function, <laughs> which is fine. It's not their fault. I got to become like one of those guys who brings like a, like my own meal, every place I go. And now standing in the corner, they don't know I'm a freak. We know you're a freak. You use genuflect like seven times in conversation. You know what's a great genre of video? Hmm. Uh, Chinese CCTV footage where the camera is 
<laughs> fixated on an elevator door. <laughs> oh no. What? Jesus Christ, Ryan. Have you ever seen those? Like it's just, it starts and it's just two people waiting for an elevator and then like... I don't even one know of how to them find like, that. like I don't leans even know on the search. door, but then the door isn't Fall actually through, like bolted yeah. to anything, and the doors yeah. just break. That's fun. Oh man, they gotta start bolting those doors in, man. They really got it. I saw all these videos last <laughs> sorry, night. Sorry. Of people apparently they they do like mukbangs, but they put a 360 camera in the middle of their plate, and it's okay. the most cursed thing you've ever seen. <laughs> like, their lips extend out into, like, to, to accept the noodle. It looks so funny. Have you ever seen the one with the CCTV footage of inside of the elevator? And just when the dude gets in, it's like... I don't even know how to describe it. Like the doors like keep closing and opening in like both axes. Like they, they close vertically and horizontally and the dude okay, is like freaking out. <laughs> oh, Where are you finding man. these? They, just, they showed up these on Twitter old, for a man. while. Yeah, these are old. Oh man. Was it a was it a, a, a Chinese video with the guy in the automatic wheelchair who like slammed into the elevator door <laughs> yeah, and then just kept so. going and like went through? <laughs> like oh. tragic, but also like what the fuck? It's just I don't know what to say, man. Not me searching Chinese CCTV okay. compilation on YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put There's the elevator video. keyword. There you have to put the elevator air, keyword, please. Airplane okay. occupants. No, it's like uh, so. Yeah, we're getting Kate's YouTube account back, but it has to go through the proper like tech support channel, so it's just gonna it's gonna take a bit, but it's gonna get done. What happened to it? It got compromised by an Elon Musk crypto scammer. Now, to be fair, I don't think it's uh, Mr. Musk himself. I don't want to put that evil on him, but they are using his image. <laughs> oh, I didn't discard one card like a fool. And that's what really burns me up is like that guy's like my hero to to put this uh, like sure yeah 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 I sympathize with my wife or whatever like yeah it's really stressful but at the same time like want somebody think of Elon <laughs> poor guy wasn't even doing anything and now he's accused of hacking my wife's YouTube channel <laughs> I'm sorry I know there's a lot of tweets that are like genuinely in the worst tweets ever made uh obviously I think if we were doing a bracket for me, the number one tweet has to be like when Elon tweeted, like, I haven't had sex in a long time. And then the reply that is like, no way, man, you got to be kidding. Like, I'm totally straight and the thought of doing it disgusts me, but I would get down on my knees and take one for the team. And I'm like, what, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Oh, it's so good. What about the decanting one? That one is almost, I mean, like, without being too rude, because, like, that guy's just a guy. That one is almost, like, more pathetic than the tweet that says, even though I'm straight, I would suck you off to completion. The one that's like, you wanted another glass of wine. I said we have to decant it first. You said Honey Badger drinks when he wants. I made the clutch move of ordering us pizza at 1 a.m. <laughs> that one is really bad, too. Like, I... Oh, man. That was a great build, though, by the way. That was a great build. No more flush... Okay, I'll try! Okay, I'll try! Tommy Needy Drinky is also really bad. That's that's another classic horrible tweet for sure. <laughs> Congrats on your baby. What are you going to name it? Newt Gingrich's mom. Newt Gingrich. That's Is that an original? Did you make that up? Cuz that's really funny. That's really good. That's fire. That's that's amazing. It's a classic tweet. Oh, man. Did you see that stuff about Drake? I don't really want to get into all of that. It's been a long couple days. <laughs> Three things MacGyver needs to make a bomb. 
Some string, a clock, and pussy. <laughs> Patience, the sun, and lots of time. Why? For some reason, the way you read that first one sounds exactly like this old guy on TikTok who eats spicy things. <laughs> that he says, Chili pepper! <laughs> Another time, chili pepper! In my heart, it was more of a draw, like, push it. <laughs> but that, that was also nice. Another time, chili! I gotta see this, man. This, uh, this sounds pretty Eli, good. Eli, pick red, do my candle. <laughs> I got it. Not just voting for pussy, Ryan. I, I well, I thought yours was like tree. Hey, that's one. I gotta sneeze. I gotta. It's the the nose is tingling. It's tingling. <laughs> I can't stop. This is what Corey linked me to, by the way. I'm not going. What what is this link? This cooked link. Oh, there it is. It works. Can we watch it? No, but you can listen to it. A red chili and some Ronan chili oil. A green chili and some Mama Liz's Reaper oil. <laughs> He's eating peppers dipped in chili sauce. A bird's eye and some Mama Liz's Reaper oil. <laughs> This goes on for two minutes. A bird's eye and some Mama Liz's Reaper oil. A pastilla chili and some Ronan chili oil. This has 691,000 likes. I have no idea how many views it has. Why? Because he sounds like this. A habanero in some Mama Liz's Reaper oil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I love this platform. What can I say? Oh, we got a few minutes. Kate's on her way home. She'll be back soon. Well, that means we can watch this whole thing. Hang on, he's eating the habanero. A gas table and some Ronan chili oil. <laughs> it never ends, man. He's just, he's got, this is insane. He's eating like seven of the hottest peppers. And a smoked jalapeno. <laughs> and some Mama Lisa's Reaper oil. <laughs> Oh man, he's wincing. It's it's getting hot for sure. <laughs> Malv in thirty years, dude. I would love if Malv started doing this. I can kind of picture it. The bird's eye chili and Mama Liz's chili oil. Nine thousand kilometers from Luxembourg, Cuba. Warmer. Country known as Peru. It's adjacent to the... A, a country known as Chile. Oh, a country known as Brazil. Oh, a country known as Argentina. Oh, okay. A country known as Paraguay. Oh, how delightful. A country known as Bolivia. Ah! <laughs> I was laughing too. You see that viral tweet that was like, I love when people self-report that they didn't know their parents were rich. And it was like, in the 1990s, a middle-class income meant your family had like two compact cars, one overseas trip a year, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I just saw a reply to it that was like, um, what does overseas mean? Like, some, does that mean, like, going to Disneyland or something? And then someone replied, overseas implies that it's a trip not to North America or South America. And I'm like, yeah, so true. Me when my friend says he took an overseas vacation from Canada to uh, the tip of Chile, almost Antarctica. Excuse me, brother, that's not overseas, okay? That's overland. 
That's a perfectly middle-class vacation, okay? To take a jumbo jet down to the southern tip of Chile. That's, that's cause, because the, it, it becomes out of touch as soon as you cross an ocean, okay? I don't make the rules. It's only a 16-hour flight from the Arctic Circle to the Antarctic Circle. NL, were your parents rich? I think they got rich while I was a kid, but they are also like super cheap. But like anytime we took a vacation, I'm trying to think like the furthest I ever went away from home as a child. When I was 10, I drove with my grandparents from Ontario to Nova Scotia, which is like a two and a half, three day drive. Otherwise, once a year, we drove to Ottawa or Belleville, which is like one to two hours away. And then like stayed in a hotel and just went to the mall every day. <laughs> and then when I was 20 or 21, we went on a bus trip to New York City, which I talked about yesterday, where we stayed in a hotel and we went to the Macy's. And then we went to... Las Vegas when I was 20, 21 or 22. So they, they started to pick it up a little bit when I was, uh, when I was a little older. But otherwise, we were just driving. But they, they're, like, they're doing fine. Don't worry about them. You ever been to Cornwall? Yes. Um, that is, I don't mean this in a negative way. That is a, um, it's the town in Ontario that smells, right? There's like a paper mill or something there, and it smells like, uh, can I say something weird? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say it smells like a skunk, but it's not, it's got a certain, a certain other aroma to it. I did see the, the report about the UBC student who lives in Calgary and commutes to uh, Vancouver to go to UBC because it is cheaper to fly to Vancouver eight times a month than it is to rent in Vancouver. Like something about the story stinks. That's my journalistic know-how just says something about it stinks. Because how does he, he still has to sleep, Right. So, like, where does he sleep when he's in Vancouver? He lives with his parents in Calgary. He only has one day of classes a week. He only has classes two days a week at Stolen Valor. Oh, well, in that, dude, I thought he was staying for five days a week. And I was like, well, he's still got to find a place to sleep. I did something similar, but I stayed in hotels. Well, that shit doesn't make sense because a hotel in Vancouver is like way more expensive than rent. I mean, it's probably true everywhere, but I felt the need to state it regardless. I think this is one of those situations where it's more like, I guess what I'm trying to say is <laughs> he can't do his classes virtually or go to like the University of Alberta in Calgary. And that might be in Edmonton for all I know, but... Like, I get that UBC is a great school, but dude's taking eight flights a month to go to one day of classes a week. Like, something doesn't compute, bro. He's releasing more CO2 into the atmosphere than Taylor Swift. It's because it's his last term? I don't know. It just doesn't... Uh, something smells fishy. That's all I'm saying. University of Calgary is not that good? Yeah, maybe. But, like, on the bright side, you don't have to fly eight times a month just to go to like your, your class. <laughs> oh man. Also, if little bro's in undergrad, no dude, I shouldn't be calling him little bro. If little bro's in undergrad, he could just go to the University of Calgary, bro, who cares? It's not like he's taking a job as like a, a, a professor or something like that. It's his last semester. You could trans, you don't even have to go to class, bro. He's got like 98% of his credits already. Just skip all the lectures, fly in for the final exam, get like a 52, and then, you know, get a job. What's the cost from YVR to UBC anyway? It's true. I got to think about that. Because you can take the SkyTrain, but the SkyTrain doesn't go all the way to UBC. Well, you know what? The total cost is probably like $7. <laughs> you could just take the SkyTrain to like any bus stop and then take the bus to UBC. It would be pretty cheap. 
Did you see the Germa fan who was sucking on a moldy locket? I mean, you know, I must have missed that one, librarian. I must have missed that one. The Germa fan who was sucking on a moldy locket. Did you see the Reddit post about the they were at like a friend's uh, eviction party? And then they decided to like fuck up the house and one of them did a line of shit that fell out of the wall. And then they tested it and found out that it was asbestos. So the dude literally snorted like a Hollywood of asbestos. And then they were like, how long does he have to live? It's messed up, man. Because everybody was like, he is going to die for sure. Like, there's nothing you can do. But the good news is it'll probably take like 20 to 40 years. So I don't know if that's like good news, but like... That comment got me laughing. It's it's actually like, it's kind of hard to die in the sense that like, like the human body is relatively good at keeping itself alive as long as you don't get infected with Salmonella and Campylobacter at the same time. But like, it's also really easy to like, um, accidentally die just by making one really stupid mistake. Like I'm not talking about, you know, getting shot out of a cannon, but even just being like, you know, you're six beers deep and you do a line of drywall, oops, you just signed your own death warrant. <laughs> or like drinking too much soy sauce, you're like, this will be fun. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. Thoughts on my ex in bio Twitter bots? Is it the new wave of advertising? Can you see A&W Canada doing a my root beer in bio or am I crazy? I think that would be reasonably funny. I think that would be a reasonable brand tweet that wouldn't be cringe and I would look at it and go that's kind of I get it I get the reference I did love seeing Dan tweet that his stream was not going to happen today because he just got back from New York and there were two replies and literally both of them were my pussy in bio her pussy in bio <laughs> I can't believe Dan is shorter than squeaks bro there were like some camera tricks on that and I'm not saying I'm not I think that Squeaks is definitely taller than Dan, but Dan actually looks, it's hard to explain. He doesn't look photoshopped, but he looks like he's a, the picture was taken at a different scale than Squeaks. Like it, it almost looks like he was like shrunk down in Photoshop somehow. <laughs> It's, there's, there's, it's like the, the Joe Biden, uh, uh, Jimmy Carter. Yeah, exactly. The Joe Biden, Jimmy Carter photo where like Joe Biden looks like he's a hundred feet tall just due to the angles of the room. Like something, something is not right about the image. I'm not suggesting anything untowards. I'm merely suggesting no! <laughs> that it, it's a funny looking image. Are snails and jellyfish made out of similar goo? So I'm going to answer your question with another question. Did you see the... Um, I, I wish I could give you better search terms, librarian. I can't, though. It was a tweet that was like, when the function got all the mollusks or something like that. <laughs> and it was a Petri dish that was full of like colorful single cell and primitive multicellular organisms floating around like jellyfish and going like this shit made me want to fucking throw up i hated uh yes yeah, something me at the at the cambrian explosion or something like me at the pre cambrian cambrian explosion it was a petri dish that contained animals which were aliens and i i hated seeing it it's not fair because they have not done anything wrong but i don't know if if maybe you agree or maybe you disagree me and my oomphs during the cambrian explosion yes that's the one <laughs> it uh something about it to me is deeply unsettling it's not really logical like i don't know if there's like an evolutionary reason to be uh, weirded out by them, but I certainly am. No! No! But I find it very, very, very gross. 
Like, I don't know, like, I'm... It actually, you know what I said? I don't know if it's logical. I would take it a step further. I know it's, like, illogical. But if you were like, hey, you can either, like, jump in a swimming pool that's full of those creatures that are probably harmless, or you can go into this tiny room with a man with a gun who will shoot you. There's actually, like, I would probably jump in the... Cambrian explosion swimming pool, but I would at least be, I would think about it for like, like a minute. I would be like, how much time do I have? That's like my fear factor. Like you ever watch an episode of fear factor and you're like, why won't they drink the donkey cum? Like it's just donkey cum. You're on fear factor. What'd you expect was going to happen? That's me with the, with the weird amoebas and other unicellular life forms. Like you might not get why it fucks me up, but it fucks me up on like on like a, a, a level where I'm like, I understand those people on TV where they're like scared of pickles and then they take them to a pickle factory and they have like a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I don't know, I really, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's, they're just weird, bro. They're freaking me out. I would rather go like 1v1 versus like a tiger, even knowing that I have a substantially lower chance to not die. You realize they're in every glass of water that you drink? I know, that's what's fucking me up, bro. It's kind of that they're like everywhere. That's why I don't, so like as a kid, my friend would always have his birthday party at like his dad's house on the lake. I know what you're thinking. He was really wealthy. He wasn't, his dad was just divorced, okay? Everybody relax, call off the dogs. It was, there's two different kinds of lake house. There's like lake house that happy family goes to together, in the summertime, and then there's like, my dad and mom got divorced and now he lives on the lake, okay? So th anyway, he was a nice guy, don't get me wrong. He'd always have his birthday party at the lake in the summertime, and we'd be like, wee, jump in the water! Hey, how much lake water can you, can you drink? Blah, 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 blah. Now I'm like, I'm staying on the damn boat, bro. It's bad enough that there's all this like microfauna in the environment, in the air, but the lake is like a, it's basically like an amoeba slushy. Like, I don't, I don't want any of that in my life. Drink up me hearties. <laughs> I wish that it was like just us. And like, I'm not saying no other animals. Like, I think that's too far. But like, none of those primitive Andes, you know what I mean? Like the smallest animal on earth should be like a, a fruit fly. There shouldn't be an animal that is smaller than you can see with the naked eye. <laughs> there definitely shouldn't be like weird translucent, translucent shit in the water. Like I could do, okay, there's chemicals in the water, there's plants in the water, of course, but there's a, a two cell animal and like one of the cells is like a big belly and one of the cells has like weird little pincers on the end of it. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. You're not invited on the terraforming ship to Mars, okay? You can enjoy Earth as much as you want. I'm not taking them to Mars with me. Not on purpose, at least. They'll probably find a way to get there anyway. What about your microbiome? I'd rather have diarrhea, quite frankly. Noah fucked up bringing those dudes on the ark. That's damn true. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Noah should not have brought all those prokaryotes on the ark, bro. Did you never look at water under a microscope in university? No, that's the shit that fucking red pilled me, bro. Into thinking that we should remove all unicellular life from the earth. <laughs> First, I was naive. Me, 18 years old, water is just water, yum. Me, 19 years old in one day. Ah, I'm drinking like water scorpions. You know more than half the cells in your body are not yours. What do you mean they're not mine? You want me to discriminate against cells that are contained within myself because they don't share my DNA? That doesn't fucking bother me. They're employees, bro. Why would I care about that? They can sublet as far as I'm concerned. I'm not concerned about that. Just as long as they don't look like fucking weird centipedes and shit. I don't like any animal that like, it, it's like a centipede and then it like crawls up to like a glob of sebaceous oil on your face. And then it goes like, and then under the microscope, you can see the oil go like, 
Blah, 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 blah. That is... They should replace them with AI. I'll take the nanobots, bro. You should Google eyebrow mites. I've Googled all this shit. That's how I... that Because I'm fixated on it. Because it... I'm scared of it. <laughs> hmm. I had to try. Bottom left, bottom right must be this word. I've crunched the numbers. It's the only word that fits. Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> are yeah, there are there is. are there plurals in quartal? No. Uh no. I mean sometimes you get kind of screwed when it's like a plural that's also like a verb or something. <sighs> Bro, well, forget bottom left. Bottom right is is uh, bottom impossible. Left is all I have left, man. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's there's no vowels. Have you noticed that? <laughs> there's none vowels <laughs> in it. If it's this, it has to be this. You know what it is? It's this, bro. Oh, it's the way, only it thing this. that makes sense. It is this. I got it. Right when you said that, it unlocked my fucking. The brain. thing that it never is. Yes. Okay. I did you see the uh, Twitter video about uh, House, which is like, why is every House episode like this? House, we need to cure this patient. Did you try the medicine drug? Oh, I did try the medicine drug. Only stupid people try the medicine drug. You are stupid. I tried the stupid drug. You are a black man. <laughs> this vexes me. I have blood dripping down my nose that is dripping. That's bad. I also was bitten by a mouse due to my poor hygiene. You need hygiene drug. Also, I have not spoken in a while. No, hygiene drug will kill the patient. He needs mouse bites to live. I feel good for this. I'm here. More mouse bites! I feel better. No more nose blood. Thank you, doctor. I am very smart. I tune in this episode. And then the patient, uh, they're like, or the doctor is like, Dr. House, uh, patient has sick. And then Dr. House says, did you give them health medicine? And then the <laughs> doctor says, yes, I gave them health medicine. And then he says, you idiot, health medicine will kill them. And, and anyway, you should, it's I've, pretty good. I've, I've seen that. I'm with you. I get it. You, I've okay. also seen lots of episodes of House, but not me for too. A while. Me too. And then they, Doctor House, the the, they're like, oh, he's got a disease because he's been getting uh, bitten by mice in his house. And then he goes, you fools, he'll die if he doesn't get mouse bites. Give him more <laughs> mouse bites. And, and it's a good, it's a really good video. Anyway, I I believe it, dude. How that's that's pretty much how the show went. Every episode, at least all the ones I remember. I watched a season of it uh, at a summer job that I had on my friend's like iPod Touch or whatever, and it blew my mind. I was like, this is going to be another boring medical show where like guy comes in with disease and then they treat the disease. And you're like, no, idiot. He comes in with disease and then it's like the ninth thing you would expect. Like you have to be a, a genius to figure it out. The... Uh the episode I remember, which now looking back on, I feel like is kind of dumb, is where they're on a plane and mm -hmm. a dude has the bends on the plane. <laughs> and I'm like, how would a medical professional not recognize the bends so true. on a plane? It takes them the whole damn episode to be like, oh, he's got the bends. What was it? Was the cure like they had to submerge him in a submarine for like a couple land, hours? Land, land the damn plane. Oh, land the plane. Like... Land the plane. Susie Screw had a partner named Sasha, Sasha, Dumper, Dumper, I remember her number like the summer, it was her and Susie, yeah they threw a slumber, party but you could not call it that cause it was slumber, well it was more like spending night, three in the morning yawning, dancing under street lights, we chilling like a villain and feeling right, in the middle of the ghetto in the hood but in spite, I load the bull S, we're on our back staring at the stars above, talking about what we're gonna be when we grow up, 
I said, what you wanna be? She said, alive. It made me think for a minute, then looked in her eyes. I could've died, time went on. I got grown, rhyme got strong. Came back home, fine little Sasha was gone. Her mama said she was a dude that was treating her wrong. I kept on singing my songs and hoping at a show that she would one day be standing in the front row. Two weeks later, she got found in the back of a school with a needle in her arm, baby, two months old. Sasha Thumper, it's like that, yo. I love who you are, love who you ain't. You're so Anne Frank. Let's hit the attic and hide out for about two weeks. <laughs> Bruh.